to begin by thanking a member, Mark, for supplying the points for this hotel. I arrived in Bucaramanga on the bus at 4 a.m. earlier than uh, the 5.30 it was scheduled for, but it was pitch dark. Got in a taxi, took the ride to the hotel, never been there, didn't know the layout, didn't know what to expect. And when you get there, the um, there's no lobby. You have to go into this cubicle area, which is a waiting room, and go up to the 13th floor, which is actually called lobby, so it doesn't break the 13th floor rule. And uh, you go in there, and that's where you check in. I walked around the building a couple times before I figured this out, because uh, there was no lights on in there. There was no TV on. It was just it was just darkened. But I don't think they expect a lot of people to come in at 4 a.m. Now, my very first impression was pretty amazing because they allowed me to check in at 4 a.m. <laughs> Most places would make you wait at least for a period of time, but it was no problem. So this, um, this lobby area is also a place where they have uh, breakfast included, so there's a lot of tables and chairs. Uh, there's an outdoor seating area. And COVID alters it somewhat. You have to wear a mask, uh, except, you know, until you sit down to eat. And instead of having a buffet that you go up and make your own waffles, etc., um, the, you order at the desk, and then they bring you the, the order. So I was on the eighth floor. And um, I took some video shots just walking down the hall. I did have a video clip in the room, but somehow, some way, uh, it's lost. I have no idea where that clip went. But it was your typical room. It had a couple beds were full size or queen size. I'm not sure which. I'm guessing full size, bigger than single. And, uh, you know, a desk area had a little refrigerator in there you, you know it's your typical nice hotel room I will say that the bedding and the mattress was amazing it was sleeping on a cloud so every morning I would get up around six o'clock do a little work on videos from the day before and then I would go down and have breakfast uh, typically 7 seven thirty, maybe 8 o'clock but the view in this hotel was just spectacular. It was like um, staying in a drone. You could see the most prominent buildings in Bucaramanga, which there were plenty of. And you had an almost 360 view from the vantage point of uh, the top floor or the lobby floor. So I would have my breakfast and sit there and contemplate the day and shuffle through messages and answer emails before I would head out to explore. There's some pretty amazing buildings as I mentioned and I will be doing an entire episode on the buildings of Bucaramanga. Uh, some are of note. They're some of the tallest buildings in South America, as a matter of fact. That double tower you see in the background on the left, the tallest one, is the tallest building in Bucaramanga. The hotel is located right next to a, a park. Um, Parque, that was uh, Pio, Pio Park. And it's it was a pretty good size, uh, just a very relaxing stroll through nature sort of park. I had beautiful weather during my stay. The very last day, 
it rained as I was getting ready to go to the bus station, so I didn't care. But it was uh, sunny with white puffy clouds, and it was just spectacular. The evenings were the same. Uh, one day it got a little uh, warm for my taste, but I was out walking around in the direct sunlight. Uh, the rest of the time it was pretty comfortable, and evenings I would say were somewhat cool. Not cool like I gotta go grab a jacket, although if you're a 80 pound girl you probably want to get a jacket. But if you've got some meat on your bones then it was pretty comfortable. The climate was nice. It was a touch warmer than um, here in Armenia, but it had a decent breeze and um, rather pleasant. And on the very top floor of the building, they have jacuzzi, a gymnasium, uh, eating area. Plays. Um, they were playing actually American music, although. I asked if they get many uh, Americans there, and some, not too, most of the uh, tourists coming through are from Colombia or other places in South America. Now, Bucaramanga is the richest city in all of Colombia. I think it's important to, to realize that. It has the lowest unemployment rate and the highest GDP per person than uh, anywhere else in Colombia. And it shows. It shows in the facility, in the infrastructure, in the, in the buildings. It's just, um, it's a pretty spectacular place. Now, it's still a city, and I'm not big on cities, so I personally wouldn't want to live there. But I would think this would be a fantastic option for people that want to live a really good life with a cost of living less than places like Bogota and Medellin, uh, something similar to Manizales, maybe a touch more. In other words, quite reasonable cost of living, but a lot of opulence, a lot of things to do, lots of movie theaters and uh, arts and sciences and museums. It's um, and there's also lots of nightlife for those people. Great place. Stay tuned to part three. You and me, meant to be.